Hi Coco, say hi. Oh, this is Kush. Say hi Kush. He's he's not amused. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. We are doing the questions done today. If I'm not wrong. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I get two motion pain. Ten, 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 ten. Question one. Are you ready? No. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. What's the nickname people have always called you but you dislike? Kimby. K I M B Y. I don't understand why that name stuck. Can't you call me Kimmy or something? Yeah, that's the one that I don't like. But it's my childhood one, so. Mm. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. But I want more food to make me happier. Have you ever seen a therapist? Yes, I have. And I advocate for everyone going to see a therapist. Mm. If you could be anything, what would that be? I'd be a cat in a house of a cat lover like myself. If you only had one thing to eat, one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pork chops. I really like pork chops and I'm really hungry. <laughs> okay, uh huh. Indoor or outdoor? Indoor. If you won a lottery, what would you do with the money? Invest it into a children's home and a violin school yeah yeah and buy my mom like a brand new car and whatever she needs <laughs> mm -hmm. what's your idea for fun Ooh. i mean your idea of fun uh being in the house playing games getting to like know each other if we're in a group setting I also have fun on my own, so I guess it depends. Do you consider yourself an approachable person? Yes. I'm very nice. I do, I do. Uh, What's your biggest turn off? Confidence. What's your biggest turn off? Overconfidence. <laughs> Who's the most important person in your world right now? My mom and then my cards. What's the one thing that you know you'd never do? Nothing. <laughs> what activity are you always down for? Road trip. What draws you to people? Their personalities. Uh if they are kind or not. Yeah. Five words on how people would say would easily describe you. Introverted, pretty, intelligent, would rather stay at home, likes food. <laughs> that's, that's what I can come up with. Are you a family person? Yes. Do you love children? Yes, as long as they're not mine. <laughs> Yet. I like other people's children until I have mine because that whole labor process, like, why not there? Why not there? <laughs> How big are you on giving? Huge, huge, huge. I'm huge on giving. I give a lot. Do you believe in love? Of course. What's your favorite leisure activity? Is sleeping a leisure activity? Because I like to sleep. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> reading books. Uh, I like playing games a lot. Um, I said books and listening to music. I love listening to music. What's your deal breaker? Oof. I, 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 pass. I don't know yet. Maybe someone who's not a believer would be a big deal breaker for me and who's not like invested in their relationship with God or lack of communication. I think all the things, everything, everyone kind of says, yeah. What's your idea of an ideal partner? Um, maybe someone who loves me like Christ loved the church. That's, 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 that's what I can use right now. That's like the season I'm in. When last did you speak to your family member? Today, my mom. <laughs> so if you'd be accused of a crime mm -hmm. and it'd be true, what would that possibly be? <laughs> Probably beating someone up for crossing someone I love. That 
that would be like an assault case. I'm probably going down for assault. If you probably crossed someone I love, yeah. Definitely assault. I would have thought you stole a cat. <laughs> yes, and I would probably be guilty of stealing a cat. Oh, I would not like one, like a big cat. Maybe a lion. Small wedding or we scatter everywhere with AG's office quickly. Nobody has a budget for that big wedding. Perfect first date idea. Something genuine. Like it can be dinner, it can be um, bike riding at Uhuru Park or boat riding. I, by the way, that is on my date bucket list. Imagine I need to go like, on a date, boat riding at Uhuru Park, don't ask. But something like genuine and real, not at a fort. So, Are you religious or spiritual? I love Jesus. Oh, I don't know how to answer that question yet. But I love Jesus and I believe in Jesus and God. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a student. I'm a performing violinist. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a blogger. I'm a cat mom. I run a women's ministry, Women with Grace, that are selling these amazing t-shirts. You're gonna see them later. Um, and I run a non-profit, Kaleidoscope Kenya. Mostly, I'm like full-time, I'm a student. I'm a piloting student, okay? Is it pro-abortion or keep the child? Well, keep the child. If you could have one year free supply of anything, what would it be? Cut food. Feels minded or open minded? Don't lie. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I listen to your opinion if it makes sense. Which means I'm open to common sense. Which is not common. Exactly. <laughs> so I said I listen if it makes sense. Who is your favorite family member? My mom. <laughs> Instantly. And my grandmother, oh my grandmother, man, at least I know when me and my mom have Kosana, I can go to Shosho. And Shosho will feed me and be on my side. So if it's not my mom, it's my grandma. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> when last did you tell someone you love them and mean it? Today, when I was telling my mom I love her, to have a good day at her conference. Fake it till you make it or keep it real always? I keep it real. Always, because you could fake it and never make it, and it's not just so embarrassing. <laughs> what do you need most right now? I'm really hungry. <laughs> We're shooting when I'm hungry, so I'm just thinking about food. To be honest, I'm just like, see, we just well, after this, grab that chicken in bucket to go at that petrol station. Um, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm so hungry. Like, if you're seeing the set food, I'll drop my pill. Where's your happy place? Here, like when I'm at home and I get to be with my baby. Oh, this one. Let me just bring him. This is like my happy place. He's not amused. He was asleep. He was just trying to sleep. But he's my happy place. What or who brightens up your mood? No matter how down you are. <laughs> These guys, they find a way to make me happy. What's your favorite song at the moment? Um, 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 Jennifer Hudson. It's an old Jennifer Hudson song. I remember me. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really feeling it for some reason. It's really slapping now in my life. <laughs> I did. Um, best thing that has happened has happened to you. No, best thing that happened to you in 2019. Graduating, oh my gosh, I think I really waited for a long time to like be done with campus. So graduating was so huge and starting black school. That 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 was that was that was that was nice. What were your high moments and low moments in 2018, 2019? Um okay honey. High moments was like all the times I got to perform, 
last year was a really good violin year. I got to play at Amina Abdi's book club. I got to meet people. I started my YouTube channel. So it was it was a big year for me musically. Um, graduating and starting flight school. That was monumental. Um, writing a project, like I have written an academic paper. I don't want anyone to ever tell me a thing. <laughs> uh, but there were of course some hard days. Um, I was in hospital, I wasn't feeling well, and actually making the decision to start therapy was probably nerve-wracking and scary. But here we are. Yeah, but you know, nothing happens without it molding you or breaking you and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you really looking forward to in 2020? Um, a thousand subscribers. I have so much faith in a thousand subscribers because for some reason I'm at 172. Which is just the club, the club. Um, so more subscribers, more content, more shows, more opportunities. I am looking forward to being licensed, a licensed pilot this year. I know the last video I did I was over enthusiastic, but reality has set in. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be licensed. Um, more chances to keep playing violin. We're going to have this Women with Grace retreat this year, so I'm so excited for that. That's going to be mind-blowing for selling merchandise, so there's like so much stuff already happening. I'm just so excited. I'm so, I'm so thrilled to see what God is going to do. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. My face, you guys, if you've seen, I don't usually beat my face. And if it does, I don't care, I like it at this beat. Yes. Maybe we should like put a video. It was done by the amazing Purity, whose handle is going to be dropped down below. And I'll also drop the video credit down below. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Tunambianga watunini. Watch, like, subscribe, share. Find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter, find me everywhere and stay tuned. Bye!